Welcome to the video my friends, I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to check out a new upcoming survival game, Humanit Z by Yodubs Studios. The developers were kind enough to let me take a look at a pre-alpha build of Humanit Z, their new survival game in an isometric view. I was also joined by one of the developers, Yoz, and we went through for a couple of hours on the features of the game and showing off some gameplay, as well as information like planned release date and upcoming features. All links will be in the description below. As always, I recommend to join their Discord for all the latest information and news. And with all that being said, I hope you enjoy. Uh, yeah, thanks very much for having us here. I'm uh, yours. I'm one of the creators of Humanity. Not really a job title at the minute because we're only a small uh, indie team. But yeah, thanks very much for having us on and showcasing on your channel, dude. means a lot. How many on, your, uh, on the team? So... Right now, there is a total of five. Um, two of us are like the main devs. We've been probably working on the game for about seven, eight months. And at the start of this year, we took on a guy to do the 3D side of stuff. So we should be seeing some new 3D models coming in the game as the updates fall in. Uh, we've got a guy doing some concept art for us, some of the loading screens, which you can see on screen now perfect timing and um we've just taken a guy on recently to help out with level design so we can have a nice big map for the finished game and obviously it's the isometric view i had uh, taken inspiration from project zomboid i think that's yeah. the only survivor game that does that view isn't it other than now humanity maybe there was a spin-off game for i'm pretty sure there was uh, another one but i can't think what it was this is the only one that matters though <laughs> Yeah, and we've got the, the camera rotation with Q&A, which gives it a different vibe to the games from top down. So you can get a different angle and stuff. So yeah, it really helps you out in a, in a tight space. Yep, that's it. And you've got vehicles as well that you do need repairing and refueling. Multiple different vehicles as well. Uh, so there is plans for co-op as well. How many players and uh, what's the, uh, the idea behind that? So we haven't really worked on a limit. So I think the plan is probably four for co-op. Um, the game's always been designed for multiplayer from, from the start, really, so the replication and everything. Um, that is a plan for later on in the next sort of few months is to actually do some actual... Um, co-op multiplayer testing just sort of local land stuff to check out everything's working um, but yeah it, it's always been a goal from, from the get-go really awesome these games always come to life with a couple of friends makes it a lot more fun yeah, the, always have a laugh PvP, yeah pvp gets mentioned as well so we're not ruling out that it could be something we do down the line but right now it's focusing on yeah, uh, team play with friends and stuff. Yeah, I like that stuff. The co-op survival aspect always tickles my fancy. <laughs> I think I've aggroed a few too many here. Yeah, the, uh, the gas station, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So what's the map size currently? And have you got a planned like final map size? Uh, yeah, I mean... I'm not fully sure on this. This is just literally uh, a test map that we've just literally got, uh, like a mini city, this little gas station, a few little sort of small mini towns, etc. Um, but yeah, the size of this map, I'm not fully sure what it would be in like measurements. Maybe Dubs in the chat might be able to help us out with the actual size. Um, but the, the main map, once we actually release the game, will probably be twice, if not a bit bigger, than this test map. But, I mean, because it's top-down, you can get lost in this map anyway right now. I just thought I'd try, because I know a flashlight's T, and the, the, the sure headlights come on. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was just about to tell you to do that, but yeah, there you go. Whoa, is that loot on a car there? Grab a load of this ammo. That was a nice find. 
we can see our pockets and our backpack and then our quick slots for our weapons melee weapons uh, bound to one two three four correct and in the bottom slot there you can actually add something for a quick slot like a, a bandage or drink or whatever so like for a quick heal you could actually add something to the yeah I do like the animation as well. It takes his backpack off. Yeah, that's a new feature that uh, we've put in recently. It was something that I wanted to put in the game. Um, yeah, it just adds a little bit of immersion. Yeah, very nice items because a lot of these we can make a campfire with rocks, I believe. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you've got the hammer in your hand, you should be able to see the, the full build list. Uh, yeah. Campfire, and we can hunt as well, I believe, and then cook meat. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So I think the campfire is four. Yeah, four stone at the very top. Oh yeah, there. top right tells us. Yeah. Oh, I'm being eaten. <laughs> so you have got an XP bar as well on the bottom left. That something we will get around to working on a bit more in the future as well stats and um leveling up skill system etc that will come soon and we can run them over with the vehicle nice and the phys physics pretty good love a good bit of ragdolling Never fails to amuse me. <laughs> okay, CV says similar in the sense that it's top down sort of a game to Zomboid. Thank you. Probably two kilometer by two kilometer on the test map. The yeah. map size. I got a bit of damage on my car, which we can repair with a toolkit. Toolbox. Correct. Find somewhere safe. Can't remember if you which build you had before this, but I don't know whether the different sort of zombie classes were in the in the game. Oh, I've, I don't think so. Um, I've seen the runner. Yeah, and there's brutes as well, so they're just slightly bigger. Ah, uh, that'd be why I couldn't kill him then. But as quick as the others. Yeah. go to the front i should be able to repair with the toolkit but I th actually is it one use yeah if you've got it on your in your inventory i didn't check what you had in your bag actually uh no, no i have used one and there's only one i had so it might be a one use yeah, thing it is, it is correct yeah okay yeah so i need another one you're at an industrial area now i think i guess it might be worth having yeah. a little if you're brave enough in the dark I'm never brave you've enough. You've got a little torch on your character. There you go. Oh, that's not a door. No. Car Jack used to flip a car if you managed to get it on his roof. Correct. Oh, that's nice. Runner coming. Alright, I'll bash his head in. <laughs> so what got uh, what got you into survival games, Falcon? What's um I'd never really touched him before uh, I was kind of in a lot into just Call of Duty and uh, played a lot of, well in gaming since the early nineties. Um a lot of like Carmageddon and, and Doom, Duke Nukem 3D, and then suddenly Daisy appeared. Uh, and I, I just had to get a PC to play Daisy mod, uh, Armor 2 mod, and then that was it. Then it was set, just survival game after survival game. Since then, I never looked back really and, and just check out any other survival games that come out over the years. 
uh, anything that interests me. So that's a big, big thing now after the genre was created. Some fuel there, dude, as well. On the, there's a little fuel can. Might have just gone past it as you drove in next to the other fuel. The gas stops. On your left. So behind the character now. They're right north of you, basically. Once you've destroyed these guys. Love those takedowns. <laughs> Nice, another jerry can. Yeah, yeah, so the takedowns are weapon weapon dependent and depending on whether you're at the front or the back of the, of the zombie, it will perform a different... Oh, can I cancel an animation? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just see them coming up behind me while I'm refueling. <laughs> Don't think they're clever enough to climb over, maybe. That you're in luck. Oh, CV said he saw a repair kit in the back. I don't know. Check the boot of that car there. Hey, Mitosis, how's it going? Trippy, what's up, my dude? Ooh. We got 50 cal. Need the weapon now. It's nice. Do some water. Ah, yes, I think I've got some. not hiding on that is it no so i'll make note of right now <laughs> if i can find anything with the uh, with the roof still there oh yeah locker um i don't think i can change the time trippy there we go nice Shouldn't last too long though, hopefully. I get that drink. Yeah, it looks like the sun's coming up now. Yeah, nice. So we've got the driving, the repairing of vehicles, uh, survival aspects, food, crafting. You can make a base. Um, you can uh, grow food, can't you? Uh, yeah. sure so there's seeds you can grow two types carrots and potatoes was it yeah yeah it's something we're going to expand on as the game progresses for sure you can fortify your base or the windows of uh, a house as well so like this this building here at the garage i could fortify these windows maybe yep and uh is there anything i'm missing there on features currently in um not really no i mean yeah that's there is there is some ai actually that you may not have run into before. I can't remember which build you've played prior to prior to this. It might have been a couple before this one. So um, uh, I've seen the deer. But I've never managed to kill one, but there is human AI as well. Oh yeah, never seen them. They're pretty tough though, so you have oh. to be uh, pretty stacked. I can I can take you to a little. You can do a little drive by if you like to sort of check them out. Yeah. Probably oh, would they wreck my car and blow me up? No, you should be fine. You should be fine. See, if you spin back around, you go left and left out of here. Turn right, like turn around, kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. And follow the road. Might be worth it trying to get some more. So they you should say be a little next right? Next left. Oh, left. 
keep driving a little bit. It might be behind. I'm watching the stream and trying to. Yeah, as I've come to a dirt track. That's it, yeah. We should get some water from here. Oh, there's a little campsite. Should be uh, some little boxes to loot and stuff. There you go. Oh, nice. So if we want to clean stuff it's pretty simple isn't it when you just click on the campfire we just click meat and craft if you've got meat to cook yeah so, yeah, so there's like um Kerbo, what's up thank you for the host dude craft and there is a couple um already on the map and you can find dirty water in them take them to the campfire and then clean them up to make dirty water to make dirty water clean water basically If you think that you're stuck in there, just go to close. On yeah, the yeah I just just saw that. Yeah, yeah. It's when it's the muscle memory when you're used to playing another game so much, and then you switch to another one. You're like, yeah. I'm trying to do the same controls. So. Oh, and of course, we must mention it is pre-alpha. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what was happening then. He wasn't quite... He's no, I, I think he was still stuck inside the inventory, maybe. Yeah, there we go. We're back. Oh, there's durability? I think I just broke my ammo. Yeah, there is. Oh, no. I'll be good with your fist, dude. You can maybe take you to the military camp. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a must. Uh, we need a gun. The problem is you can have a lot of zombies there. Wait, that's not a knife on the table, is it? Uh, yeah, check it out. You can spin your camera around for a better. Oh, it's a screwdriver. And equip it there. Yep. Yeah, nice. Give me something to shank them with. go left out of here you should yep. turn to the left immediately after this car and then just pray to the god that you don't die here there's a better car there it's super slow but it's a beast i like the look of it already deal with these zombies take the tank <laughs> yeah <laughs> I think you might have some 760 got three rounds <laughs> no Oh, mistakes were made. Press one, you can put away your gun and then maybe, yeah. Get a bit of distance and do it again. got this man you got this Shh. ain't nothing <laughs> the others are too scared to approach we need some more 762s don't we for that AK stone cold <laughs> <coughs> Fifty cal. Nice, you can oh yeah, nearly. Nice sniper rifle for it. Oh, 
We've got stamina to keep an eye on, on as well, haven't we? We can loot, run out of... Oh, wait, I still yeah. need water as well. Damn. Yeah. You've got your pistol there as well. You should have some 9 mil on the three bar. On your quick slot. Oh, yes. All right, now we're in business. Want me a uh, right mouse, it zooms out and it'll be a bigger zoom or smaller zoom depending on the weapon. Sniper rifles zoom out further, don't they? So you can hunt a f yeah, like an animal further right. away. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Oh, was there a soda in the backpack? Yeah, that was the our way of sort of implementing different weapons and scoped ability for top down, basically. Uh, is it? Uh, can I do hydration um, with the. Uh, give you some water for now. Yeah. Not much, but it'll keep you alive. Important thing. Slowly dying. My character yeah, won't it's... rotate. It's not following the... No, he's not following the cursor now. Oh, there we go. Inventory back out. He's working. Okay. Nice. Okay, that... The big blue armoured beast behind you. It's a bit of a, a bus to drive, but... Got him. Running low on ammo now. Oh, oh, oh there was a noise then. Yeah, you've leveled up. Ah, but that that's um not not ready to use yet, is it? No, I mean I can, you can have a quick look at it if you want. I can show it you. If you uh, go into your inventory. Yep. And then once you're in there, if you use the M and N keys, we've sort of hidden it so you, you can tab along. Oh, okay, yeah. So I've got gear. And then you should see the stats eventually. And then stats, yeah, there we go. Craft build, combat, world build. So yeah, depending on the amount of points that you get, you could unlock them. So it's, it's just a, a work in progress placeholder, really, at the minute. Yeah, obviously not implemented, but it is pre-alpha still, so lots of work like, to be done. If you click on the, uh, on the sprint one, it should unlock. Awesome. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, I picked up two, didn't I? Just tab out Cheers, CV. Way. I forgot I picked up two of those. Yeah, you probably want to drink them, so them sodas. Keep them alive as long as you can. Yeah, definitely. The ladder system will be in for the next patch, by the way. So Awesome. I keep checking them every time I see one. Do you, um, you want to transfer the goods from that car into the other one? Did you check all the all the tents? I can't, I can't remember. Check I, don't, I didn't check this one. She has a little bug there that when you interact with a, a container... The, there you go, it disappears for a second. Awesome, found some uh, dirty water, which I can clean at a fireplace. Correct. You've got a different combat state as well, so you know you've got the gun in your hand. Yeah. If you use uh, alt, you can actually sort of go into a relaxed state. The amount of people, you can also so hit enter key button. and it will take the stack. Oh, okay, nice one. Uh, different stances, sorry, did you say? Yes, yeah, so if you press alt, you should be able to... Ah, oh, okay, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So it's that's come from probably 
playing different games, like, you know, playing Daisy and other games where you interact. We thought, you know, if eventually we have the co-op fully working, players can maybe interact together, but not have a gun pointing at their face while they're doing it. So it gives you that immersion to not be in sort of a combat, combat stance. Oh, we just didn't, didn't find any AK ammo. <laughs> probably um, last a bit longer though, shouldn't it, this, this APC? Oh, it's a beast, yeah. So anything, you've got all the stuff out the other time, you? Yeah, yeah, there was nothing in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hang a left here, dude. And then follow the road down. And then the AI are on your left on the corner. Okay. That's how brave you are, dude. I didn't have the gun out. I didn't have the gun out. Oh no! Rookie mistake. <laughs> Rookie mistake. <laughs> oh my god. That's all right. It's all right. Um, chat's used to used to be doing that. Oh no. <laughs> there you go. They are pretty heavy. Oh my god, he's been bit off off spawn. No way. Yeah. <laughs> it's too quick. Oh, he's lightning, dude. You have to kill him. Oh. Try to finish your move on him. Oh, there we go, yeah. Oh, now it's raining. So you've got, you kept the screwdriver. Nice. Lost everything else though, my whole backpack. Yeah. You could have had permadeath on, that would have been worth. Definitely would have been worth. Yeah. Well, I thought as we're uh, showcasing it, I thought we'd leave permadeath off so I can keep the gear and not have to <laughs> constantly keep looking for stuff. If you're brave enough to go back to that location, you can. Your backpack will be there. I won't pick up that one yet. Oh, I know where I am, yeah. I think. You can wear that back on. on the floor just there. Uh, can I take down on the AI as well? With the gun? Yeah, yeah. Sneak up on them. You have to be good. We missed the stealth for sure. You can take that dirty water bottle on the left here to the campsite again where you just were. Oh, yeah. So I'm a bit behind on the stream, I think so I need to be a bit sharper. <laughs> Purify that water and we're good. Press F, you might. There we go. Nice. We'll get you away from there, you go, yeah. Dead body on the road as well, right by where you are now. Come back down the road. 
Yeah, it's just uh, just ahead, wasn't it, on the corner? Yeah, I think. Is that the dead body though, further back behind you, by uh, like a little orange car? Oh, was that my old dead body? No, it's just one that's been put there, just as a little bit of a test. Maybe keep running down here. Oh, I saw that, but I didn't think anything of it. There you go. That's it. Got a heavy tuner. <laughs> right, we'll try and get back to these uh, AI and uh, see if I can stealth it and get my gear back. I'm going to horribly fail it. I'm already on half health, so. <laughs> How do we regen health, by the way? Was it just bandages or does it go up automatically when we're at a certain food and hydration? Uh, it's just on medical supplies. So you've got painkillers, bandage, and then there's a uh, med kit as well. Oh, okay. I'll use what I've got for now. No worries, CV. Catch you in a bit. There we go. Love these weather effects as well. Maybe I could just run him over. I don't know. Not a bad show. Slow old beef, but he might do the job. Oh, I see him beyond that caravan. I think I've ruined my backpack. <laughs> I've run it over. <laughs> oh, there's more! Oh yeah, there's quite a few more, dude. Might want to get in that vehicle. Great reaction, I love it. Beyond that was opposite side of the road, he sounds like he is. Stuck on them branches there. Yeah, this uh, these uh, AI that shoot weren't weren't in before. Oh, oh there he is. I hope so. Say nothing, dude. Can't believe I destroyed my backpack running it over, though. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, that's the reverse sound, Kobo. Dubs, who's in the chart, has done a lot of work on the... Uh, 
<laughs> the AI, that's all his creation. So they, they're supposed to do like this. They're in to do like patterns, so they'll do like a patrol and then maybe use the toilet, sleep, fix the car. So you could like, um, if you had a sniper rifle, you could go and scope out and sort of check their their patterns and their routes and where they sort of patrol and stuff. <laughs> Got him! Oh, that's brutal! Nice. Sweep the leg. Oh. <laughs> So you can only carry so many, so you might have to go to your vehicle, chuck them in the boot of the car, and then come back. That'd be my advice. Yeah, that was some Jackie Chan shit right there. That carries the most weapon slots in the game. If you scroll down, once you've added them in, if you scroll down the left-hand side, you can see how many slot the vehicle takes awesome i just go grab uh some uh well i'll fill the truck up with everything i guess get all the loots Some fifty cal for the for the sniper. Nice some weapons go in the separate slots down the bomb. Uh I don't think so, C V. I think we <laughs> We've not had a bug, have we? I think we're pretty good. Oh no, it's been it's been it's been okay. Nothing I noticed anyway. No. A couple when you were stuck in the animation a bit earlier when you. Were oh yeah, still... yeah, yeah. That one and um, my backpack's worked though. Since we, I said to you earlier, I didn't have backpack, but I was in the training mode in that though, when that yeah. happened. So that could have been just the training mode problem. So I can have two primaries and a secondary, my pistol, at one time. I'll load in my crafty stuff into the back. Yeah. Oh, it's a shame I destroyed my backpack because I had a buttload of ammo for 50 cal and for the uh, the AR I've got now, but oh well. Is it definitely not there, no? No, I ran it over and it popped and disappeared. Yeah, it was quite hard for me to see on the stream. Yeah, it kind of rolled across the floor when I hit it the first time. I tried not to hit it the second time, but it hit it, and, and then it disappeared. <laughs> it didn't, like, get run over by this big truck. Oh, better check what's in here, I guess. Oh, there we go. More rounds in that one. Quite, it's quite interesting watching someone else play it because you try and manoeuvre quite a lot without, like, when we're playing, we're constantly using Q and E. Sort of yeah, like the, I forget a lot of the time. Yeah, it's just, it's quite a, a mechanic that's not really used in games, to be honest. Most isometrics or yeah, yeah that's things. fixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to think of one that does it. I'm sure there is one, but I can't think of one at the minute. Uh, can you control click or anything or magically loot the whole stack uh, from Kerbo and CV in inventory? A middle mouse click will move an item from pockets or backpack. Cannot be in a container though. Have a decent zoom as well with the, uh, with the sniper. Oh, yes. Uh, we can see those deers from miles away. And CV says if you click a stack and hit enter, it moves the whole stack. 
I got a drink. I'm pretty desperate. Again. Oh, energy drink. There we go. Uh, so with all that, is there any planned features not in yet that uh, you're pretty excited to, to see implemented? Um, so probably more um, base building and fortification sort of options. Um, something that we'd like to sort of add to the game to make it a bit more challenging so you know you can quickly board up a house. Like right now the zombies will... Um, bash down your fortifications and stuff maybe you could try the scenario map have a little run through of that if you want ah to. yes that would be uh, a good idea because i haven't found an x or anything have i so i've not been able to chop down a tree or anything no there is like a, a wood cutter's house hidden away that i could drive you to you oh yeah to we'll check out. that out yeah and then we could do some tree chopping and yeah for, for new features i mean more different types of ai there, there is um a trader mechanic sort of added into the game currently. It's not, not like fully functional, uh, but the first iteration there of like NAI, uh, weather, and temperature, is something that we're looking at adding as well. Um, a sleep mechanic as well, something new that we've been working on. Um, but getting the sleep system is quite a, a tricky one. Some people like it in the game because they like the details and then some people find it annoying so it's trying to find that balance for that one really yeah for sure what's your what's your take on the sleeping mechanic for a survival game um if it's solo or single player i do quite like a sleep mechanic um i've played quite a few of the early access ones sadly they don't have co-op which is what kind of more intrigued me with this one um because yeah. i love playing with friends and you have more you, you know in the more monotonous kind of parts of the game where you craft and a lot and there's a lot of grinding as things which all survival games have you can chat with mates and you can have a laugh and play around with things together um which you you can't do solo um yeah so so i love that 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 kind of thing and what else is that um oh yeah i just seen double mention and then the the bite mechanics so are basically a bite system where the zombies can bite you so many times the player can get infected because we have been working on a bit of law for the game um, so there is potentially i'll try not to say it now so it's not written in stone obviously i'm live on stream but um like a um sort of medical location somewhere that maybe you could go to to get a cure so say if you were i don't know couple of you playing online one of your buddies gets infected your whole game then would have to revolve around getting a cure in a certain time that is like an idea that we're spinning around at the minute nice oh i forgot we could destroy vehicles as well can't we for scrap metal and there's all these machinery we can we can use about like the shredder and yeah. a woodcutter, which is pretty cool. I, I did test that out earlier in the training mode. Shoving a log through and getting sticks and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. I did like that. That's a really nice uh, implemented uh, tool that you don't see often. Or well, not to that extent, anyway. Yeah, you can actually see it spawning in the game rather than it just sort of appearing in your backpack and stuff. We try to... We try to do that a lot in the game, to be honest, like weapons, you know, actually showing on the character rather than hidden. Yeah, and like carrying the logs here, just on the shoulder, yeah. which I love this. These little touches like this add into the animations, make, make a survival game, add to the immersion. Yeah, I'm glad, man, I'm glad. It's a headache to get it in. I think, I think Doug's nearly killed me getting the log working, but um, <laughs> yeah, it, it, was, it was worth it for sure. Yeah, definitely. So much involved with it because we we did actually have a guy working with us at the very start um, implementing the inventory stuff but because he was so busy with other stuff and he's a content creator himself he couldn't continue with the project so it, it has only just been me and me and dubs for a while since we've taken on these new guys in the last few months grab a couple of these logs 
Yeah, man. CV says the shredder turns empty cans into scrap metal. That's pretty useful. Which is what we want to use for like more base building fortification stuff. People can have sort of cool apocalypse style bases rather than just sort of wood. We can use like the scrap that you yeah, find definitely. in the world and stuff. Uh, CV mentioned NPC traders. Why did we mention that? Yes. Yeah, 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 the traders, yeah. You noticed the logs are on top of your car. Oh, no, I didn't actually. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> right, where's this logger's place? Okay, hang a left here. And then risk it into the city and then hang a right once you get into the city. Oh, she could take it. She could take it. She's tough. She's tough. Yeah, she's quite hard to turn. The old beast. Yeah, it's heavy. She's a great zombie vehicle for sure. Okay, come to a T junction. Okay, yeah, so keep going and it's on your left in a minute. Like a gravel drive on your left if you keep going. Uh, Neely, is there plans for bigger trucks like a six-wheeler there? We don't plan on it, but that is something we can do. Also, looking at a trailer system. That's awesome. I'd love a trailer system. It there, that one there behind you. Okay. Laddy. There's also one feature that we thought about is like a... Um sort of motorhome type thing so maybe like one of them in the map like ultra rare where you can sort of travel in it and live live in it so it's like almost like a portable base so that is something sort of that oh yeah be careful Um, sorry, what was that? Portable? So like a, like a motorhome. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be awesome. So yeah, that, that's something that we, uh, we plan to look at later on as well, for sure. So there might be an axe around here somewhere, maybe inside the building or at the back. Yeah, just worried that wolf was going to come back. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you might do. So that's the a woodcutter behind the back of there if you wanted to show the logs getting cut up. Oh yeah, do. awesome. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, yeah, Survive the Nights is a good survival game to take a look at for ideas. they got some really good ideas in that. They have the trailer system and the like uh, mobile home kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's another smaller kind of indie developed survival game. Is that quite a new one that's just quite recent? Uh, it's been about for a long time. I covered it years ago. Um, okay. And then I covered it when it first came out into early access. And um, I've not checked it out since, but it's it's over the years, it's had a lot of work put into it. And I keep meaning to check it out again because they've added the uh, mobile home that you can drive around and fortify and like make that as your mobile base kind of thing. And it uh, looks really cool. Right, okay. Yeah, maybe worth checking out for sure. Yeah, and it's get you some good ideas for, for how to implement it for, for yourselves kind of thing. Like nice. Take notes and things like that. It's always good yeah, to research that. that. Yeah, for sure. I always notice Adam taking notes when we're playing stuff. Oh, I like that rock. And then he's... Oh, they'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Got that down. <laughs> I like how that's done. Uh, right. Drink. I'm good now. Uh, logs, wasn't it? Let's go. Oh, no. We didn't check uh, for an X. And CB says about caravans. Yeah, I'd, I'd like that. And, and especially if a trailer system with a caravan or a mobile home, I'd, I'd love having a mobile base. That would be pretty cool. And you could, like, fortify off a fenced area. 
and drive in with your mobile home and, and leave to loot and live somewhere else while you're looting kind of thing. That'd be pretty, pretty awesome. I do like that stuff. Right, we got some logs on the back here and we got some other bits and bobs. Oh, I did have an empty can. I could have tried shredding it. Oh, no. Uh, totally forgot I put that in there. Um, oh, well, we have got this log, so let's go shred it. Shredder is here. Wow, he's walking super quick. Yeah. I've done something. I put my weapon away while in inventory and then pulled the log out. I think you were sprinting as well when you got to the vehicle, so that's something we need yeah. to look at. Right, so I've done that, and then that's given me some sticks, so I should press F. But he's not... Oh, there we go. Oh, no, he's not seeing it. Where's my inventory for? Yeah. Yeah, my inventory is for... Okay, cool. It that's, This is me this time. Drop some stuff off in the car. Yeah, so you're in the walking state there. So, yeah, if you toggle back off sprint and then uh, hit control again, you should toggle back into the jog. Go. Yeah, I think I've got it now. Got it fixed. There we go. I think I picked up one bit of wood. Yep. <laughs> Can I aggro them if I shoot? Yeah, you will. Yeah, they they do trigger on noise. Oh, there was a pop-up curb. So okay, I didn't see it. Well, then. Yeah. It's all my loot quick. I'll empty some more stuff so I can get more stuff done. Don't think you have the firework. I think that died in the backpack, didn't it? I think. Dobbs is asking. Did... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I got a firework. The Y firework. You watch him come now, dude. So we're, we're using that as like a basic distraction mechanic. Say if you were like under fire with one of your buddies or something, you could lay down the fireworks and then attract them to that location and then go to where you need to go. Ah, uh, yeah, without sprinting, it's working fine getting this log out. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Can drop the log. There you go. Nice. Nice shooting. All in the reflex. When I don't waste all the ammo. Right, get the rest I of this chopped up. Someone's mentioned about chickens in there. I have actually created one, but it's not been put into the game as yet. Oh, yeah, farm would be cool. Check the bucket. They just keep coming. Shooting and fireworks probably hasn't helped. 
Definitely not. There's a bucket at the back of the uh, building as well. Might have some dirty water in. I need the AK out of the car. I've got ammo for that. Ah. I don't want to waste the ammo for the AWM because I wanted to hunt an animal. How do you feel the uh, the sounds are in the game so far? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've not heard anything that's an issue. Um, or I'd say need a bit of tweaking or anything like that. Um, the sounds all seem pokey. Got a nice sound to them. Nothing out of the ordinary. Maybe, maybe the car sounds if I had to criticise anything. Yeah. The reverse. Yeah, yeah, that is something we're looking at, the car sounds currently. But other than that, nothing that stands out to me. Oh, I'm just on a roll here, just taking them all down. <laughs> if I didn't do this, I'd be dead. Yeah, we, we are going to have to tweak this and add more stamina usage. Yeah, maybe. yeah. Definitely wants the, the infected to be a danger. Uh, and I have to be able to kind of take advantage of the mechanic like that. Struggle to do it on the uh, the scenario one anyway because they just keep coming. I think we got my inventory bug now. Oh, I see. I can go down to the action bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realise I could do that. And then drop that way quicker. Okay, cool. Oh, that's a life changer. My bad. I thought it was bugged, but it's, <laughs> that's a cool feature, actually. Because you got the <laughs> cursor. Yeah, it does. It it's dropping the wrong weapon, though. Oh, there we go. Oh, I got it. Oh, CV says they shouldn't be clickable. I oh, know, I like that, to be able to drop quickly. Having that clicker, clickable. Did I just have a bug that's actually a good feature? I don't know. <laughs> no, no <laughs> it, it's always worked. It's just something that I think we suggested not having in there. I do like that. Like if you're carrying a log and you get a load of hoard at you, it's good to have a quick click and not have to... A quick click, yeah, because yeah, cause without yeah. that, you've got to do the bag animation, then right, then right click to drop the log and... Yeah, it's a, it's a very good point, man. At, at, at least have it on what's in your hand to drop. Yeah. And not the yeah. actual hot bar itself, just the hand action to drop. Yeah, that's a good idea. Noted. No worries. Ah, that was what I was doing, emptying. Uh, so how many weapons are in currently? Uh, I can tell you now. Let's have a look. Every like guns or melee, every you know. Uh, everything. Um, everything, yeah, melee that we can use and uh, and firearms. Is yes, I'll count them for you. One, two. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Oof. See, there's quite a lot you haven't found so far. There's golf club, crowbar, sledgehammers, a bow, a crossbow. A saw blade weapon different types of there's an uzi and um 
different types of shotguns. There's quite a decent selection of weapons in there. A good selection uh, so far. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a little issue with the inventory at the moment. I lost my pistol there somehow. Can't see it on the floor. Is that while you were dropping? Trying to own? trying to get it into the inventory, but instead of going in, it kind of disappeared and didn't go into the um, storage of the truck. And uh, my action bar wouldn't work properly. I couldn't like put away and pull out uh, the gear. But it seems to be working okay now. I kind of bugged it out a little bit. And like too many weapons are in there. Instead of the three they should be allowed. Yeah. It put four in yeah. there and then kind of has a little bit of a meltdown. Yeah, I've made a note of that dude anyway. So it's something we'll... Uh, cool. Oh, what was that? Take a look at oh, that was the bow. Yeah, nice one. Dropping a tree down now. We can choose which one, and then we got like the uh, place of the, the like dummy item, the skeleton, which you want to, whatever you want to call it, and then we can. Uh, place and then we have to have the resources so we can place the, the kind of um the blueprint and then add the resources right Correct. is that how it works we can place like the white kind of like skeleton of the uh item but it's not actually there you've got to put the the uh yeah, parts in correct yeah well, i'm missing four stones so yeah i do like that that way of doing uh, the crafting and base building because uh you get to see what what you've got to build and then you can go out and gather um what what parts you need and it's really really um explanatory and not too you know you don't have to keep looking at something else to see what you need it's all there and tells you kind of like you still need one rock kind of thing yeah i think yeah, that's how tried. the forest does it and a few others yeah we try to make it like complicated but not too complicated and yeah we want it to, with it being a top-down game i know some games you know you can add log by log, etc. Um, so yeah, it's just trying to find the balance where it's still fun, but there's still a little bit of sort of building involved as well. It's just trying to find the balance, really. Definitely. Balance can be one of the hardest parts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> I just realised. I was going to die out of starvation. Let's go out fighting, dude. No water or nothing now. Dirty water. Oh no. Nice. Could be the end. Oh no. I need some stones. Finish that fire and get that purified water on the go. They are, they're really nice, Kerbo, the takedowns. I really like that feature. Um, by the way, guys, I've totally forgot. There is all the information for Humanity Z. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and the Discord. Feel free to join all of those. Follow them. Um, jump in the Discord specifically or especially and follow the Twitter for all the latest information, updates, and news regarding Humanity Z development. We, we've got a little bit more to go. We'll show another game mode and do some more questions in a moment. I'm just struggling to survive currently on this life. And hoping for some stones, which I don't think I'm going to find. 
Did I lose my torch as well when I died last time? Oh, sorry, I can hear you again now. Um, it's the battery probably gone on it. Ah. So you can find batteries in the game. Apple might give you a little bit of something. Oh, yeah, good shout on that. So what made you guys decide to make a survival game uh, over anything else? Um, I've always been into survival games, really. Um, obviously, I've been following your content for a while because I've been an avid sort of DayZ player. Probably thousands of hours in DayZ, actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've always played different games like State of Decay and Scum and all that kind of thing. And... I've always been interested in game dev, but it was just kind of finding the time. So I, I'm, I'm still quite new to it. I've only been learning the engine and the whole, the whole game dev world quite new to me, you know, a few years really. Um, and I started looking on YouTube for like other sort of indie developers just making survival games in UE4 on YouTube. And then I seen uh, Dubs had a little channel going and he was making some survival games. So I just reached out to him. When we got talking, um, yeah, and then I must have conned him into teaming up with me. And the next <laughs> thing we know, we're making uh, Humanity, dude. And it just, yeah, it just, it's kind of snowballed from there, really. Oh, that's awesome. And the, the game dev community or the indie dev community specifically is awesome for that. I've seen so many people doing that and like collaborating on, on small games and things. Like first games, uh, just get the foot in the door kind of thing. And Yeah, no, yeah, it's because originally at first it was going to be a lot more of a grander project, like a huge map. It was actually going to be a sci-fi survival game originally. And then we just kind of went back to sort of the roots of the games that we're, that we're sort of fans of. Um, yeah, and chose the top-down view for that kind of retro vibe um, with the rotating camera to add some sort of uh, differences to the view and how you play it. And yeah, it's... It's sort of eight months on now, and it's it's going really well. Um, also, yeah, my idea for a survival game was uh, kind of sci-fi, but in a spaceship, in a... Well, it's probably going to get stolen now, mentioning it, but somebody will make a game and become a millionaire. Um it's going to be on a like a, a abandoned space station and people would wake from cryostasis and that's how it'd be multiplayer like daisy multiplayer but you'd have random cryostasis wake up around the ship would be your spawns so when you die you'd respawn as a cryostasis waking up not know what's going on and survive on a, on a ship scavenging for loot and scrap and making weapons and things like that and there would be um some kind of threat but i couldn't think what i don't know if i wanted to do it like uh dead space kind of stuff or yeah, some kind of space virus that was different to zombies, you know, but you know, make it a bit more unique. But I don't know. And um, yeah, you'd have like big areas of the ship, warehouse, and bigger areas like a maybe on the space station, you'd have like a like a rainforest biome kind of dome in the space station for like open area combat and uh, making camps and things, something like that. I don't know, but. That was my idea, um, but it was a big, big scope for me on my own when I started. That's the idea I'd written down. That's probably going to get stolen now. You'll see it. You'll see it. <laughs> You'll see it. <laughs> keep, keep this video online, dude. It's going to become a multi-million dollar project. Uh, you have to get shares in it or something. Get that's a percentage. It. Um, that was my idea anyway, but yeah, that's I, it's too big for me on my own to do that. I was going to make like a, a prototype. I got all the free Unreal Engine, Space Engine, uh, Space Station uh, stuff when they were out a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, the free assets. Yeah, I did see your uh, Unreal Engine project that you put on YouTube a while. It's a few months back now, I think, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like like I said earlier, that was um very a very basic very very basic implementation of everything and i did get a lot further than that but never never covered it and then uh 
I wanted to go 426, like I said, because of all the new features, uh, the new water system, which is a lot more optimized and um, the new physics engine and things like that within Unreal Engine. Um, but none of that, what I'd created, would work in 426. So I was a bit bummed out and I didn't want to keep working for 426 and uh, 45 and, and be thinking I could be using this and I could be using that from 426. So kind of put it on hold for now, but... Yeah, I'll get back to it. Yeah, good, man. Yeah, keep at it, man. Definitely, for sure. Either that or I'll book a shrink because somebody's made Space Survival. <laughs> Space Station Survival. Space Station Z. Space Station Z, yeah. It's going to die of no water in a minute, for sure. I've cooked it. Close, it's gonna be close. I think we're good. Just need some med any... stuff. Yeah, I was gonna say, have you got any heals or anything? No, no medication at all, I don't think. So, a, 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 a slight breeze and we're a goner. So I think on that, we should probably check out the other scenario. Yeah, sure. I'll save that so I can die off stream and not embarrass myself. <laughs> this was so. really fun to me to play because um, it was... It was Dubs that created this, and I got to play it for the first time uh, last week. So it was great. It was just diving into like a map that I hadn't touched or anything. So it, I found it really fun as well. Awesome. Right. So it's called Swamp. So yeah, you've got a little survivor house, and the clock's ticking. So you need to if you yeah need to Check. find what we've got in the house and. Yeah, check everywhere. If you spin your camera around, you should be able to see what's there. Yeah, I forgot about it again then for a sec. So we got some slugs early doors. That's it at the moment. So you've got two little chests in the middle of the room there. They should be empty. So you can store stuff in there as you pick it up. And there is a backpack somewhere in the house. Maybe near where the TV is. A oh, little... I see it on the sofa. Yeah. There you go. Don't want to help you too much, you know. There what we mean? go. Oh, I wouldn't have seen that if you hadn't said. I mean, it's there clearly, but I, I wouldn't have seen it. It's because yeah. I'm blind. <laughs> I miss so many things normally, anyway. So, yeah, so they're going to start coming. Cheers, TV. So, you probably need to have a look around the area, check out what's around you. Get yourself an axe, maybe build some fortifications. Ah, oh, yeah, so the Emmy game is just get out there, get gather what you can. Yeah, so see that barrel to your right, you can pick yep. it up and take it back. Place that wherever you like when they're the hordes are going to be coming. You can shoot the barrel and uh, create a nice boom.
Uh, how do I drop it? Oh, I see. Just press F again. Uh, okay, so we've got... Just tap, uh, left click and then enter to grab all stack. We could do with some, uh... Oh, there we go. There's lots of little, little Easter eggs scattered around. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, yes. Game, Love a good shotgun. It's got to have a nice, powerful, impacting sound as well, which this does. I imagine this gathers a lot of trouble as well because of the loud noise. Yeah, it's a small map as well. If you could, uh, be cool if you could grab them and shove their face on the floor as well for a takedown. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Environmental takedowns. The wooden stakes are quite good to craft with the, with just the wooden logs. The zombies actually damage themselves now when they uh, walk into them. Okay, cool. Try and get some back. Need to find yourself a hammer. Yes. Yeah, instantly when I played this, I was like, yeah, this would be great with some friends, you know, with the hordes coming in. Yeah, definitely all spreading out around the map, trying to gather the stuff to get stuff built and protect yourselves. Yeah, I can see this being super fun. We're gonna Seeing how many like rounds people can go. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And like... Um... We may do leaderboards in the future and uh, definitely going to have different scenarios, different maps. So if you've got any ideas, man, I'm happy to hear them because it's early in development right now. So, Yeah, I mean, I, I do like uh, odd zombies, so this kind of thing intrigues me anyway. Um, see this done in a, in a different style. If I do come up with any ideas, I will be sure... A hollow. <laughs> Something I definitely play co op with a few friends. As well as the survival. Yeah, it just gives people a break from that sort of sandbox environment. I think that's just a hatchet there, isn't it? Gotta find that hammer. I need to hammer to hammer those nails. There'd be some booms going off. Yeah. Oh, that one. Nice. Need to find a hammer. Yeah. I actually can't remember myself where it is. So I kind of give you a tip. Oh, this house is clipped. No clip. Ah. Okay. There we go. This guy's coming. Nice. 
Uh, it's in front of the house. Oh, oh fired by accident then. Scared myself. Ah, yeah, we got these normal cooking stoves as well, and we do car carrot stew, coffee, cup of coffee, and cooked rice. Yeah. Again, it's there for us to expand on. It's in the front of the main house, the hammer. Ah, okay. Go we'll grab Don't that and get building. On a picnic table. On a picnic table. There you go. I think you just went past the picnic table on the corner there. Oh, the did house. I? Right near the house structure itself. I see it. Yeah, beyond the trees there. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. So you can kind of plan all your builds anyway without even having the resources, which is handy. It's like the blueprint placing. Cheeky zombie got in the base. Smashing down your structure. For the shotgun, you're better off spinning the camera around and like facing them and hitting them in the chest. Oh no, he pushed it. You push the barrel away. Oh no, no, oh god. Oh, they're coming, dude. Oh, that's nice. Oh, what? They got back up! Look at that. Giving them the slip, are you? Yeah. Oh, he's all charred. Oh, fire will slowly kill him. Oh, thank God for that. Some of them are on fire coming towards you. That's awesome. If you hide in the house, they'll come crawling through the windows and smash through the barricades <laughs> awesome. and stuff. Um, I really need, to, oh god, I really need to barricade the rest of these windows. Okay, uh... 
try placing it anyway, even though it's red, look like. Ah! Um, it may have to be the other side. Oh, no. Yeah, it's got to be on the outside. I realised that just as they came through. Probably something we need to change, actually. You should have the ability to do it both sides, maybe. I don't know. Um, outside makes more sense, I guess. It does, yeah. You'd be neighbouring it to the outside, wouldn't you? I suppose on many zombie films, they, they are inside nailing it. Like, um, is it... Ah, which was the remake in the 80s? Day of the Dead. Night of the Dead. In the house? Yeah. And they're boarding up from the inside in the house. Let's do it on the outside. I hope I'm just vaulting over the, inf the uh, infected's body. There we go. We've got to have the tool in our hand that will be used, like the hammer for crafting. Yeah, yeah. Then we press B for build mode, L to bring up the list, and then we want wood barricade, which we do have here for. Quite hard to see without three. There we go. Press left shift and mouse wheel to adjust up and down. Nice. Missing one wood. Get some more wood. Oh, I've got to open the boxes. Yeah. It's almost a Daisy style mechanic, that one, isn't it? It's lucky dip. How many you get in there? Yeah, I'll go get some more wood while I'm oh, thinking. you get a 99 in there? I think so, yeah. Good good oh, bunch. Oh, nice. Uh, roughly how long have I got between rounds? I think it's every 10 minutes, I think. Okay. Unless Dubs has changed it. I'm enjoying this game mode though. A bit, yeah, again, fun. super fun with some friends. Yeah, because one of you could be protecting the house while the other one's getting supplies. Yeah, he says 10 minutes. We're already blown up half my barrels. <laughs> That's a few more, dude. So how do I make these spiked things? Uh, yeah, L and then... You should see log stakes, they're called, in the list, but halfway. Yep. There yeah. I'm a bit behind on the stream, sorry, with the chatting to you. One rope, four logs. Okay, I'm missing... Missing a few bits. It's pretty hardcore on your own, I'll be honest. Oh, nice. Barricaded a window. So you can finish build. Nice. And we do have the metal versions of that, which you can upgrade and have a little bit more HP to them and stuff, but... So we pick up the log, build mode, and then F2, add resource. There you go. You got it. Exit build mode to pick up. Compass might be handy to be lost. Yeah, is a compass something you might think of adding? Like a pickup, so people could find it and 
Yeah, it is in it's in the game right now. Oh, cool. So it's it's pretty basic. So as soon as you find the compass, you get what looks like a mini map on your screen, and it gives you the your coordinates. They've got plenty also of a watch as well, so you can tell the time, so you can get back to your base before it's night and that kind of thing. Ah, uh, nice. Yeah, if anyone's got ideas or wants to hear more about the game, you know, jump in on the Discord or ask questions today or whatever, and we'll always looking for feedback and ideas for sure. Oh, ignore that one. That's the wrong button. There we go. Ignore the A3S one. Check out the Humanity Z here. They have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and the Discord, probably most important um, for all the latest information, news, and chat with the devs and the community. Uh, I'll be in there as well and keeping an eye on latest updates. And I'm sure when the devs Check have got water container a well, new build, we'll probably uh, water catcher. do another stream. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, I forgot about my... Oh, my God, I'm concentrating on too much other stuff. I forgot my, my, my hydration. I'm nearly dead just from, uh, again, food and hydration. I do that all the time on Daisy, so... <laughs> Chat's always shouting at me. So from some playing the game so far, have you got any, like, ideas or anything that you think the game needs or you'd like to see in the game that kind of thing um uh oh rope can be crafted or nice. there are four pickups on this map okay cool i'm sure there are but off the top of my head right now i can't really think of any i'll have to have a have a good think about it, but of course, feel free for anybody else in chat to put anything in and notes can be made. And obviously, uh, what I will do with this VOD is download the VOD, edit it, just cut out like the intro 10 minutes where we were waiting and uh, make it a good viewing uh, experience for YouTube as well. So any comments in there, we'll keep an eye on as well for suggestions. Awesome. And feedback just from the viewing experience today. And of course, keeping in mind, it is a showcase of the early access build. And do you have a release date or uh, will it be early access or anything like that? Any plans for that? Um, we've discussed Halloween as a potential um, launch for like early access on Steam. So definitely this year for sure. Um, we are looking at um, at that date at the minute I mean it could change everyone knows what development's like but you know it's in a pretty playable state right now it just needs you know more features some stuff refining multiplayer testing um, but yeah I would say like <laughs> I killed myself oh no way I was behind the uh, I was just in the blast radius <laughs> amazing oh I was getting too confident but I got this uh, sorry, carry on. Where, where was you at? <laughs> yeah, so sorry. Yeah, um, yeah. So Halloween is probably the the date that we're looking at to get it out on Steam for early access. Awesome. And we will try and stick to that date as well. Well, we know how things go, especially with survival <laughs> games, and we'd rather you yeah. to do um, a job that you're happy with rather than rushing anything out. But we'll make sure we keep people's eyes on the project. We love, or I specifically love, supporting indie devs and things like that, especially in the survival scene, as that is my uh, jam. Oh, God, there's a hidden thing here with loads of guns in. How did I not see this? In a bush. Yeah, Dobbs is crafty, man. That's it. Some other games we're used to them being delayed should be delayed. But um, yeah, don't hesitate. If you get a, a good build with a load more new content and things to show off, we can uh, for sure do another stream, showcase it, and then put that VOD on YouTube to check out in their own time. 
Uh, yeah, it'd be awesome, man. Appreciate your support and everything, man. It means a lot, like it really does. Yeah, no worries. Absolutely my pleasure. And I have actually really enjoyed it. Uh, can't wait to try it co-op. I think that's where it's going to really shine. Uh, quickly, those takedowns, which I really do love, they are different for each weapon, uh, melee weapon. Correct. But the knife one is brutal. Comes in around the back of the neck. They're different from the front and back as well, I, I believe. Yeah, that one you did on the on the AI earlier was superb. Yeah, that was nice. I did. I was proud of that one. Right. Well, we'll leave it there for people, and I'll get working on getting this to YouTube as soon as possible for people to check out. And uh, don't forget, all the links I will put in the description below and in chat right now for those that are here live. To join the Twitter and Discord, follow the, the Humanity Z Game dev Development on Twitter, the Facebook, the Instagram, and the Discord, which is where you're probably going to get the most up-to-date news information, talk to the community, all the latest footage and screenshots and teasers from the devs. And uh, have a good time and uh, stick around and we'll cover any future big updates and things like that and keep you posted. Thank you for joining myself and yours. Thanks uh, very much, dude. Appreciate it. No worries. Any last words? Uh, no, not really. I mean, yeah, it's awesome for you to be covering the game. So that, that means uh, a lot to me and Dubs and the rest of the team. Um, but yeah, if anyone's interested, probably the place to come is Discord. We're pretty much online 24-7, one of us. So feel free to dive in, ask anything. You know, we're open to conversations about the game. No problemo. No worries at all. I just, just, just made myself laugh when I said any last words, like I was going to, like it's the end of your time or something. Yeah. <laughs> just, with the yeah. I really tried not to burst out laughing when I said it. I don't know. <laughs> any last words? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll stand against the, uh, the survival house. <laughs> yeah. Just been playing too many survival games. <laughs> all right. Thank you, dude. It's been a pleasure. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Catch you later, dude. Cheers. Bye-bye. There we go. Thank you very much from Yoz. Really, really appreciate that, that look at the game. Uh, there we go. I'll put this on YouTube for anybody in their own time. I will uh, stop the stream there. This is what we had planned for today. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed it. I think it's got a good future. Um, isometric style. So it's a little bit different, but the co-op, I think, is where it's really going to shine. As I said, I'll put this on YouTube for everybody to check out in their own time in the details, and they can skip and rewatch parts and things like that. Um, I think for a lot of people, I think I could enjoy this playing like with, with my wife. Um, Neely, I know you, you'd probably enjoy getting a kick out of that with your wife. I know you play co-op. You've been playing Valheim. So I think this would be a good thing for, for people to play at home co-op on their PCs and things like that. As well, when the time comes, as well as online with friends, get the banter going. A lot more fun then when you're with um, a group of people you know, when you're going out and scavenging and things like that. These these kind of games are always better. And I, and I was so pleased when I when uh, you told me co-op is a thing. Um, so cannot wait for that. And I'll be testing that out. And hopefully we can get in with a few devs and have some laughs and survival and things like that. That'll be super fun. So, um, yeah, thank you for joining me today, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pleasure. I love you all. Stay safe. Don't forget to check out the links in the chat there for humanity in the discord i'll be there as well to chat and keep up to date stay safe out there that's the wrong button that's the right button and i'll see you in the next stream and on your the youtubes catch you later bye